Hey everyone, everything is fun in the golden yellow sun. Yes, indeed. Today we're going to be looking at tip number five on developing our self-confidence. In the previous videos, I have shared what self-confidence is, why it's important, and the first four tips on developing self-confidence. So if you haven't already checked those videos out, then I'd suggest you do that and then come to this one. Great! Now let's move on to today's tip number five on developing self-confidence. And that is, confront your fears. Now, even someone with really high self-confidence can have some fears at times. Being fearful of an event or of someone doesn't necessarily make you a weak person. But when you do face those fears, you feel a lot more confident and happy. Now, let me share a story from my life. Okay, this happened around four or five years back. I was enjoying my summer holidays in Malaysia in this theme park called Escape. Now in Escape, there were all sorts of cool activities like zip lining from the top of mountains, swinging from trees, trapeze, and etc. Now I had a big height phobia. Now one of the activities was a jump from the seventh floor. On one hand, I was really excited and I just wanted to go for it. But on the other hand, I was so scared. So my mom said, I'll come along with you. And that helped to calm my nerves a bit. So as we started to ascend up the stairs, my heart started beating faster and faster. And as we were going up, I was actually looking down at my dad and my sister, and I could see that they were shrinking by the minute, which could mean only one thing, that we were getting higher and higher and higher. As we reached the seventh floor, I started to gear up, and as I was gearing up, I was telling my mom of how scared I felt. But to my surprise, I got no response back. So I turned my head around, only to see that my mom was racing back down the stairs. My heart was in my mouth. Here I was, at the edge of the cliff, my legs shaking, and I'm talking to myself saying, I can't do it. Would I be able to do it? Can I do it? Then I took a deep breath. I mustered up all the courage I had inside of me and I jumped. I just went for it. And as I was coming down, I felt so happy, so proud and so confident. I faced my fear. I went over it. I was like, go girl, you did it, you did it, go girl. So whenever you feel fearful, know that you're not the only one who's felt this way. But running away from your fear, it won't help you at all. Only It's, it's only going to help increase that fear. So you got to confront it to defeat it. Try this out and see how it improves your self-confidence. So guys, if you found this video useful, then please like and share with your friends and watch this space for more tips in the series, How to Develop Self-Confidence. Bye, see you next time.